Hi students, how are you all? Are you safe at home? Are you healthy? Remain at home in order to be away from COVID-19. Today, I am really excited to say few words about before entering into the topic. The topic that I am going to teach today is 10th standard. 10th standard supplementary, the little hero of Holland. The little hero of Holland. Dear students, I would just like to ask, what do you mean by the word hero? Sanjay, get up and say, who is a hero? Vijay, yes. Arun, get up and say, who is a hero? Ajit, very good. Saumya, get up and say, who is a hero? Abdul Kalam, very good. Arun, get up and say, who is a hero for you? Yes, what, what, what's the name? Mother Teresa, yes. Dear students, the term hero differs from person to person. The meaning differs. There are two heroes. One is a real hero, another one is a real hero. Real, real. The names that you gave, Vijay, Ajit, etc., etc., are real. They come under the real heroes. What they said, Abdul Kalam, Mother Teresa, etc., etc., they are the real heroes. So, the term hero refers to a person, a person who sacrifices his or her life for the welfare of the people. Listen students, a person who unconditionally, selflessly sacrifices his or her life for the welfare of the people, for the goodness of the people. She or he is the real hero. Yes, Mother Teresa is the real hero. Abdul Kalam is a real hero. Gandhi is a real, real hero. We can go on saying so many people, heroes, heroes, heroes. The heroes that we see on the screen or in the TV, they are only real heroes. They are only real heroes. But eh, the real heroes, they motivate us, they inspire us to do something for the society. They invoke a kind of spirit in us to do something for the society. Such a term is called a hero. Hero, the term hero refers to a man, he or she, who selflessly sacrifices his or her life for the welfare, for the goodness of the people or for the society. Next, Holland. Where is Holland? The another name of Holland is called Netherlands. The another name of Holland is called Netherlands. The national color of Holland is orange. The national color of Holland is orange. Every year on April 27th, all the citizens of Holland, they wear orange color dress. Orange color. That day is the birthday of the great king William Alexander. William Alexander. The citizens, they all gather together to share the love, affection with the fellow being. So they wear orange color dress on that day in order to remember the lifestyle, the life of William Alexander. Now, some of the speciality of Holland or Netherlands. 
So what is, what are the futures of Holland or Netherlands? My dear students, you, have, you must have come across many countries. When you know something, when you study about a particular country, you should know why it is special, why it is so popular, you should know. In Holland, how it is popular? See, the first one, healthiest country in the world for diet. Holland people, the Dutch people, they are the healthiest people in diet. The second point, in the world, the first country to legalize a same-sex marriage. Holland is the first country to legalize same-sex marriage. Third one, more than thousand windmills. Yes, Holland has got more than thousand windmills. Next, men are tallest in the world. Dutch men are tallest in the world. The last point you should know. Home birth is still cherished. Home birth still cherished in Holland. These are the some of the futures of Holland. The speciality of Holland. So, now we know the term, what is the meaning for the word hero? And what about Holland? The another name of Holland is called Netherlands. And we know the national color is orange. Every year, April 27th, they all, all the citizens dress in orange and they celebrate the birthday of William Alexander. And these are the some of the futures. Yes, students. The names that you gave, real hero, real heroes. Yes, it's according to you. According to their heroes for you. At the end of the lesson, you will come to know how you can become a hero wherever you are. Wherever you are. Sanjay, you will become a hero. Soumya, you will become a hero one day. It doesn't matter that you have to work in film. It doesn't matter that you have to go and show yourselves. Okay, well, but you will become a hero, a real hero, when you sacrifice yourself for the cause of people. Yes, with this, let us enter into the story. The main characters in the story, Peter and his mother. Peter and his mother. Next, what is the theme? What is the message the author tries to give to the readers? Braveness. Braveness. Dairium. Next, passion. Viritanam. Passion for something. Passion. Selfless sacrifice. Selfless sacrifice for something. These three virtues are the themes in the story. Now, let us see something about the author. Mary Maps Dodge. Mary Maps Dodge was born on 1831 and died on 1905. She is an American writer, especially for children. American writer for children. She has written numerous books for children, stories, novels. Next, her famous book, Hans Bringer. Famous book is Hans Bringer. And she started a magazine called Saint Nicholas. This is mainly for children. For 30 years, she ran this magazine. Where some of the articles, stories are written by famous poets, storytellers are included in the magazine. And she has written this beautiful story, though the people say it is a real story that took place in Holland. So she has given a character as Peter. Mainly, these two characters play a vital role in the story, Peter and his mother. Now, let us move to the story. These are the new words that you are going to learn from this story. The new words that you are going to learn. I will explain each one. Dyke. D 
I K E D I K E Dike is like a wall which protects flow of water into the village or into the place dike sewer will say trickling trickling flowing in a small stream flowing in a small stream trickling sound when it drops drops one by one by one num the word n u m b n u m b num deprived of power of sensation deprived of power of sensation when we do not have any sensation sensation here it has become numb for example when you sleep for hours and hours if you keep your hands like this and sleep for hours and hours the hand becomes numb no sensation next chattered c h a t t e r e d c h a t t e r e d chattered feeling cold feeling cold frightened feeling cold and frightened that's what chattered next groan g r o a n g r o a n groan a painful sound a deep painful sound mm, painful sound sluices this is an opening an opening where that will come to the story once it comes to the story i will say what is this clearly so these are the new words that you are going to learn from this from this story okay let us enter into the story peter a 8 year old young boy a small boy like you who used to play who used to play with his, with his friends moves around who is interested in playing one day peter was playing it was around evening time it is around evening time and one more thing just i want to tell you holland is a place it's below the sea level holland is just below the sea level in order to protect the Holland from the sea water entering inside they built a dike they built a dike around the hall around the city Holland dike now one day mother called peter and asked peter peter where are you come i have prepared some cake for you okay well, for you as well as for your friend who is now other side other side of the dike can you take this cake and give to that blind friend and come back see the mother affection love is not only for you even for your friend i have prepared see it's already evening take this cakes and go to your friend other side of the dike is a blind man and give to him before sunset you have to come back with so much of with so much of enthusiasm with so much of passion he takes a cake and proceeds start to walk on the dikes start to walk on the dikes as he was walking walking he would see a beautiful sea on the other side beautiful flowers he was enjoying the scenery because his father one day called him and said this water is called angry water angry water what the term angry water because the water is always kept inside they are, ne they are never allowed to come out they are angry waters and looking at the water he was very happy on the other side of the dike there are beautiful flowers they all kind of flowers and he was enjoying and he reached his friend's house after reaching there he gave the cake and he sat there and started to chat for some time he did not know how the time passed we know once the friends they meet after a long time they talk about many things same way these two boys start to talk many things suddenly the boy realized it is time my mother will be waiting there it's time my mother will be waiting there let me go 
and he said goodbye he bade goodbye to his friend and started moving back moving back towards his home there mother anxiously she was waiting what happened to my son the sun has set already where is he now when then she used to come out from the house and look at where is my son where is my son so much of anxiety at last he realized it is almost dark and she came to the conclusion that her son is resting this night with his blind friend but what happened really this is what as he returned home as he was walking walking still he was enjoying the scenery the sun was setting down slowly slowly he was enjoying the scenery while he was walking on the dike while he was walking on the dike there he heard a sound trickling water flows slowly 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 from the dike he just stood alone and he was just able to hear the sound from where it comes he just wanted to find out from where the trickling sound comes once he noticed the the trickling sound comes from the dike he ran down and kept his finger he kept his finger inside the hole he thought for if i keep for some time the hole will be closed but he kept inside for hours and hours he was keeping his finger he was taking rest he never removed his finger why students why see each and every one in holland even the children they know that they are not at all safe any time the water can come out if there is small hole in the dike the people will be the whole city will be washed away that's why peter ran down and kept his finger inside the hole and stopped the water it was almost evening night in game night the hand the hand with the finger everything become numb there is no sensation at all no sensation it was very cold he was feeling very cold he was crying come 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 anybody my mother please come and help me is there anyone that would hear my voice please come but no one could hear his voice whole night he has kept his finger inside the hole and remained silently there he thought if i take out my finger my family not only my family my friends the whole city of holland will be washed away in the flood of water so he kept his finger the throughout night and he kept and he just was lying down near the hole next day morning what happened a man was passing a man was passing on the dike he could hear the groan sound some some a deep sensation sound and he asked hey boy what are you doing there tell me did you get hurt what is happening there why did you reach there i am stopping the water i am stopping the water what what are you doing i am stopping please go and call all the people and come and that man don't know what to do he ran towards the village and called all the people saying that peter has done some some tremendous job for us and he called everyone they brought all the all the weapons shawls and they ran towards the dike where peter was just putting his finger inside the hole and start saving or protecting the water not to enter inside the holland city now peter was carried by all the people to the village they all appreciated him applauded him for his braveness for his braveness for his passion pa- what does it mean passion here passion means if you want to do something you have to show your full involvement there not just for name sake the boy showed his passion by keeping his finger inside the hole throughout the night that is a self sacrifice even if i die 
let my people live. I am not worried about my life. I am not worried about my life. But if I have died for this cause, I am ready to sacrifice my life. Let my people live forever. Today, in Holland, the statue of the statue of boy Saint Peter saving the Holland from the flood of water. Still, it is kept in all over the Holland. People, they remember him. People, they remember the braveness, the passion and self-sacrifice of Peter. My dear students, this is a story. The little hero of Holland. Now you know who is the hero. It's none other than Peter. Peter is a real hero in the story. Though he is just 8 years old boy, but he never worried about his life. He never bothered. But his only aim is to save his country people. Now, in the, at the beginning I asked him many questions. And there were different answers. Who is the real hero, hero? Now you tell me, how you can become a hero? What is that you are going to learn from this lesson? What is the outcome of this lesson? What is going to teach you? Nothing, students. Nothing. This is what you have to learn. Be brave. Wherever you are called to be brave. Show your courage. Never, never run away from the situation. Never run away from the situation. Show your passion towards the work. Passion towards the work and self-sacrifices. The day will become, the day will come when you will be a hero. When you all can shine in the world. When you will, the day will come after 20 years, 25 years where people can say your name. As you are saying today, Mother Teresa, Abdul Kalam, Gandhi, Nehru and so on so on. The day will come when people will say your name. Be motivated, be, sacri be sacrificing for everything. And you will shine in the world like a real hero, not real hero. The real hero is one who sacrifices his or her life for the benefit, for the goodness, for the cause of the society. Yes, my dear friends, this is what you have to do. With this video, I have attached the study material. First, I have attached the PPT. YouTube link, you will have some of the links, you can go and see YouTube links and there will be study material, question bank and self-assessment test. Dear parents, it is your moral duty to help your son to do. You are the teacher now. You are the first teacher for your son. Though we are sending all the materials, keep your son or daughter with you to finish the work that we are given. My dear, my dear students. You are a lovable students. You listen to our teachers. Yes, you will do what we say. Though we are not physically present in front of you. But write everything in separate note. Subject note, question bank should be separate. Then write the self-assessment test in a separate notebook and edit your parents sign, take a photograph and send to school WhatsApp group. I hope you all will do it because you are going to be a hero in your future life. Thank you.